Uh, I'm, I'm Del Gingrich. I work at the Mennonite Story in St. Jacobs. And this morning, uh, it's a privilege for us to get out into the Mennonite countryside and get a flavor of their culture and style of living and uh, related to their beliefs as well. On the right, there are farms that do not have electricity. Uh, they have chosen not to have electricity. At first, when electricity came in, the, the leaders of the church, the ministers, were not allowed to have it. And so that would have to be torn out if they purchased a farm with electricity. Now, about the last 10 or 15 years, uh, that's changed, and the, the leaders may now have electricity. But in these homes, there's absolutely no technology. So there's no radios or television or DVD. On the left is a, a farmer, uh, a Weber gentleman, he and his three sons uh, farm that uh, farm and they also butcher about 300 pigs every every week. So that gives them uh, lots of work to do. The land around here as you see is fairly flat, it's rich, uh, clay, it's considered some of the best growing land in Canada. So the number of yields uh, per, per acre of bushels per acre is really rather significant. The houses that the Mennonites built actually in the uh, early 1900s and then of course it was rebuilt afterwards as well. On Sunday morning the, uh, the horse and buggies come of course and the men tie up the, their horses to the hitching post. So each one of these hitching posts has a horse attached to it. So you'll get about 200 horse and buggies here on a Sunday morning. And if you're part of the Old Order Mennonite community, what you do is go to church on Sunday. As you can see, this is a, a very plain building. There are no crosses on top, no towers, uh, no stained glass windows. Inside, there are no musical instruments, and very plain, simple benches. And even modern Mennonite churches like I go to have a similarity to this in keeping it simple. And that's sort of, a, sort of the substance of who they are, and living a simple, uncluttered life, sort of a separate from the world, and they believe that the church building is not the important thing, but the people are the important thing in their worship. Uh, service, if you would go inside, they welcome you to come inside. Uh, it's two hours long. It's all in the, the dialect of the people, which is uh, Pennsylvania German. The Bible's uh, read in Hochdeutsch, High German, and the singings in High German are Hochdeutsch as well. A song is almost like a chant. It goes on for really quite a long time. Kannst du auch Hochdeutsch schätzen? Nee, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Ich kann so ein kleines Deutsch, aber mein Deutsch ist nicht so gut. Yeah. Aber es ist für Spaß, wenn ich weg. Yeah. Well, ich habe die letzten paar Wochen eine ziemliche Mutschaft, also ziemlich rehrig und nass. Oh, ja. Jetzt scheint die Sonne, das ist gerade. Yeah. So this is, yeah, this is better. Yeah, this yeah, is better. So, the grass uh, walks and then we have to shove it on with them trimmer while yeah. the grass walks. Well, this is good, Ava. Yeah, that's that with me eyes. So the bish uh, not a farm, do bish uh, 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 do us gone, we were helping here instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in Bavara. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Mennonite people, uh, particularly the old order group, is, is growing in numbers. And that may be surprising given the uh, the attendance at most mainline churches and part of that reason is because of the large families the average number of children is is eight and it's interesting uh, studies were done recently by a professor to find that uh, of those eight children six would remain with the old order community and two would leave and that's a pretty good percentage and those who leave will tend to go to a more modern Mennonite church we've got about 30 varieties of Mennonites in our area so uh, it's strong and if you ask them, for example, is the German language still strong? Yes, it is. Uh, are things changing? And they say, well, it's much more difficult than one might suspect, uh, particularly with the young people, because they see the cars, and that's an attraction to them, and that particularly. And uh, so that, that is not an easy road, but they have been very successful up to this point.